Hey everybody, Meshman here for another tutorial. This time I'm finishing off my ladybug wreath with the bow and ribbon. Hope you enjoy. Alright, let's begin. So, like I was saying, I already finished the base, which uh, I feel like came out pretty good. Got my white, reds, and uh, a little bit of both and three meshes that I decided to combine. Just give a little bit something different, a little bit flair. Uh, so the ribbons that I'm going to be using is a white, a red, and black polka dot, and then a white and red polka dot. Go ahead using the Pro Bow there, getting all my ribbon prepared. And uh, whenever I make a bow, I go through the same thing every time. It's like part of me dreads it because there's a whole process. And then once I begin, you know, it's kind of like doing lives and working out. And I say this all the time. You get this feeling of like, oh, so much work and I don't want to do it. And it's like you have to convince yourself that this is worth it. But then the second that I start, I'm falling in love with it all over again. And the same goes for making these bows. And it's just incredible. Something so simple that takes lots of practice. <laughs> Man, did I get frustrated when I first started making bows because they never turned out. Don't you just, as a crafts person, um, no matter what it is that you like to make, when you first started, whether you were doing it when you were 5, 15, 25, 50, when you saw those experts and you just saw them, you know, going away at that craft, and you're like, I want to do that. And the first, second, who knows how many times, every time you made it, you compared it to the ones that you've seen, and they didn't look anything like them. And it just gets so frustrating. But you can't get down on yourself because it's, uh, it's a little bit cliche, but it's true. Practice makes perfect or your version of perfect. You know what I mean? You can only be your perfect. So, you know, I've been doing this for somewhere between seven and nine months. And, uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying the process. I feel like I've been growing so much in it. And uh, with your guys' support and help, it has brought me a long way. Because not only do you have to have that need, but you have to have that want, that desire to want to, you know, do the craft and get better at it. So I finished the bow, but now I need to fluff it out. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to be putting my mountain bases on my side to help, uh, you know, when I put my pipe cleaners on to have something to attach to it. So we're gluing those babies down. And uh, yeah. So I'm putting away the Pro Bow, and I'm about to pull out my fluff box so I can get that bow looking nice and full. And I just love it, everybody. When I first got to the point where I can look at my bow, and I'm like, that is what I've been trying to do this whole time. Such a sense of pride and accomplishment. And I like sharing that with you guys. And I also like being a, an example for you guys, because I haven't been doing this my whole life. Like I said, I just started uh, 2018, June, and... Uh, you know, I've just been practicing and time and time again, looking at examples, comparing and contrasting, just keep trying to grow and improve. And I feel like I'm at a point right now where my bows definitely have, you know, come a long way. And that's why I like to share with you guys, not the fact that, oh, my, everything I make is so perfect and so beautiful, which is not, and I know that. And it's not to show off to, or to make anybody feel less than or anything like that. It's the complete opposite. I want you guys to see that you can do this too. If I can do it, then you can do it. You know, that's that's the big takeaway from this. That's why I love doing this. That's why I love the community. You know, it's not about watching me do this so you guys can just buy my stuff and give me money, which, you know, of course, I'm not going to lie. That's a part of it. I need this craft to grow and I need money to help it grow, but I want to be an example for you guys, for anybody who's intimidated or um, a little down on themselves about not being where they want to be or where they would like to be, you know, just keep at it. You may not be the best at what you do, but you can be the best at being you and what you do. And I just love, like, I love the way that bow came out. Um, and just looking at it, you know, here I can see that, of course I can fluff it out a little bit more. And I do that during the process, uh, before, during, and after putting it on the wreath. So, you know, you want to fluff it out to get a sense of how it looks and how big it is. And then you want to uh, put it on the wreath and then, you know, just make it look a little bit fuller, especially like I'm doing now when you put the sign on there and you put them together. And I just love how everything's just combining. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it in this angle, but, you know, I got a lot of blacks in my ribbon and I did that on purpose to contrast all the white in the sign. They help balance each other out and uh, 
just have the eye flow uh, around the reef. But of course, that's not it. Now I gotta take that same exact ribbon that I made uh, the bow with, and I'm gonna make some tails. I'm gonna be using the perfect tails from the Soul Sisters and uh, Soul Sisters, excuse me, and the the ribbon, the mesh, at least most of the mesh, and the sign all came from Waterman's Loft. I'm using the per the perfect tails from the Soul Sisters. Uh, that's that piece of uh, wood you're looking at that they so creatively and uh, beautifully painted and put their logo and everything on it, but it just helps the process so much quicker. You guys like my cup? That's a pretty cool cup. Um, if you want to know where I got it from, just uh, it's escaping me now, but you know, just go ahead and uh, you know, ask in the comments and I'll answer it. Uh, my wife got me that for our anniversary, she had it made with my uh, logo and name on it, and then all the glittery at the bottom. Now, I'm not super glittery, but as you all know. In the world of uh, craft, glitter is a part of you, whether you want it to be or not. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm just putting on the tails now to help finish the uh, wreath off to kind of put that cherry on top to make it look whole, full, and uh, ready to help beautify someone's home. Oh, speaking of which, um, as of this recording, we're going to be doing an auction. Me and uh, my wife, she makes signs. Um... And, you know, you can just check out my Facebook. That's where we're going to be having an auction at uh, this Friday. Just look for Mesh Man for You on Facebook. And uh, it'll be around 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, you don't have to buy anything during the auction. But just come hang out, check it out, and uh, see what we're like in live instead of recording. Um, so, yeah, that's my finished product there. I really, really love the way it came out. Of course, I'm getting... Uh, advice and from you guys and from the missus in the background <laughs> telling me where I need to put it to get a better angle uh, but yeah so again showing off the cup but this has been fun I really enjoy the fact that you guys uh, check me out and enjoy these tutorials and if you like to see me live you know just go ahead and check me out on Facebook I do lives all the time and if you want to see a longer version of this um, method of this process and just come hang out you know that's what it's about community it's about hanging out with your friends and learning something new while uh teaching something new you just never know we all learn from each other and that's the whole point that's what's so awesome about this but again you know if you like to see more of me or know more about me just come and check me out um on both facebook and instagram they're both for mesh man for you it's about to pop here in a second but thank you guys for joining me today Appreciate the company, you know, subscribe, like, follow, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it very much. So again, that's uh, Instagram and Facebook, at Meshman for you, and this was another uh, run, rewind, or a run through of uh, my last live, and uh, yeah, hope to do many more with you guys. Thank you again for your support, love you all, have a good one. And this has been The Mesh Man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.